What's up, man? It's Joe D here, man. Gonna do another beer review. Yeah. Hey, listen. This is my American Cancer Society um, shirt. Okay, from a few years back uh, when my mom used to live here in town. Oops. When she used to, when she used to live here in town. She, my mom's a cancer survivor, and uh, I would do these walks for her and uh, they have these cancer walks and you know for survival and all that and uh, this is one of the shirts that you get for participating so um, this is my uh, cancer society shirt so brother today's beer is a very requested not a high high requested beer but I've got a certain segment of my audience that has been wanting to see this so I have a lot more Spanish uh, viewers, and they were wanting to see a Spanish beer. This is Alhambra Negra, okay? Uh, I think Alhambra is actually the name of the place. It was established in 1925. It's 5.4 percent by uh, volume. Serve at 45 to 50 degrees is what they recommend. Um, me personally, even on their website, it said serve very chilled. So this beer, trust me, is ice cold, bro. <laughs> the way I like it. Okay. My wife got me this cool ass mug, dude. I love the shape of this mug. Look at that. It's like kind of goes in a little bit and out. It's kind of cool. It's just not your standard mug. I am pairing it with some homemade salsa that my wife made um, with avocado and all kinds of stuff. She makes it really good. So that's, that's, that's my going to, I'm, I'm going to do a little pairing here with you. Um, I, I wish I could use my cam twist, but it's just a little too blurry. The cap is a little different. I will be saving that cap because I don't have one. You're going to notice some gumminess on there from the sticker that um, that my beer guy puts on there for selling singles. In any case, let's see if Spanish makes smoke. Ah, I already screwed that up. Ah, yeah, there was still a little bit of smoke. It, it took me a while to get that cap off. But, so let's see. This ought to be pretty dark. It should pour pretty thin as it is. It looks like it's going to go down immediately. It's a very dark beer. It, it almost looks like a Coke from here, uh, in, in my view. Let me see if I turn off the light, what you get. Let's see. You just get dark, dark beer. Um, very thin, thin head. It, it looks like a Coke to me. It looks like a Dr. Pepper, if you ask me. Um, the head is very light for being such a dark beer. It's it's as light, the head's as light as a, as a traditional lager would be. The the smell, you know what? <laughs> That's the smell cracks me up, okay? Because I, it just smells like. Like a, like a traditional lager that you would get from you know, Mexican lager, uh, Asian lager. I mean, I don't know what it is, but they have this smell to to me, okay? It, nothing offensive to anybody. It's just it's just what I pick up. There's a little caramel in there. There's um, a little bit of fruitiness. You can see that head just thinning out by the minute here. I don't really sense that I'm going to get a lot of flavor out of this. Okay. Okay, I'm getting some some roasted malt. <clears throat> okay. Uh, very little hops in there. Um, my next bite is going to be with uh, some of the Julie's uh, homemade salsa. Mm. A little bold.
it's all the time. But you know what? Um, the smell's not impressive at all, okay? You're not going to pick up too much out of the smell. But you know what? It's a, it's a pretty good beer. As far as the taste goes, pair it with some food, some chips and salsa, something, you know, something like that. Uh, even a steak, I guess, you know, hamburger. Um, you're getting a little smokiness out of it, <clears throat> believe it or not. I, at least that's what I'm getting. A little light fruitiness, okay? That's probably some of the hops in there. But you know what? It's not a bad beer. Uh, for being darker, you know, well, for being a very dark beer, um, it's pretty good. It really is. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this. I'll give it a solid one thumb up. Um, you know, if I if I had to have one, I, I, I could see myself down in quite a few of these, Tidy Truth. It's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, Spanish did pretty good. <laughs> okay, you guys take it easy. Cheers.